Hello everyone, you're welcome to Floki's Den. My name as usual is Afolake and I am so excited to share with you, especially right now that we're in the new year and everybody needs to refocus on new strategies and ways to better do things and achieve great results. And I'm bringing your way this time around how to upgrade your LinkedIn profile, especially if you're searching for a new opportunity you're looking out for new jobs and you're wondering how do i get out there that recruiters can find me on my linkedin profile i think it's a good opportunity for you to follow through to the end of this recording so you can have maximum benefit on all that i'm going to be sharing with you if you're new to my channel you're welcome i'm glad to have you here we share informative tips especially for new immigrants and those that have also landed into canada tips that will benefit them in their journey to settling well in a new country and to my old subscribers thank you so much for coming back again if this sounds interesting to you stick around and go nowhere You're welcome back. I'm going to be using my LinkedIn profile to walk you through how to get your LinkedIn profile up to date such that it's able to sell itself when a recruiter looks through your LinkedIn profile and they'll be able to see what you're capable or what your job experience has been as it aligns with whatever role that you have applied for. The first key item is that you must have a professional headshot photo. That means the picture that you're going to put as your professional picture on your profile must be indeed professional. That sells itself when people see you, you know, like the added that says is the way you present yourself that you get addressed. You want the picture or your profile picture to show what you look like and exactly how it fits into the role or the position that you're thinking of applying for. And that's very important as one of the key elements on your LinkedIn profile. If you're a customer service representative or you're a banker or you're an insurance agent or you're a dancer or a musician, you want to mimic that outlook so people can identify you the way you have been represented by your profile picture. You don't want to have any misrepresentation by giving a different outlook and then the body of your profile talks about somebody totally different. That will mean misrepresentation and it won't give you know, that first impression based on your profile picture. Also make sure that the picture is clear as in visually appealing and then there's also a size that um, the picture needs to be taken in for instance for that particular um, headshot that needs to go into that profile for the linkedin it has to be a 400 by 400 pixel or slightly higher and then you have to crop it into that the profile picture space on your linkedin profile and then ensure that you tweak it back and forth to make sure that you have a good visual view of yourself next on our checklist for our ideal LinkedIn profile will be your name what is important is to spell out your name as you want to be addressed your first and your last name some people also prefer to use credentials or accreditations that they have for instance if I was a PhD holder I could decide to put my PhD beside my last name, such as Afolake Idris, comma, PhD. Some people like those um, acronyms beside their names is also acceptable, and that's okay. The There's another recent feature that you can actually record a voice note beside your name on your LinkedIn profile. Less than a minute, actually, you can you can decide to let um, anyone that comes across your LinkedIn profile hear your voice uh, and for that particular section you can decide to just mention your name as you like it that people pronounce it and invite them that you're open to 
connecting with as many that are willing to connect with you and that's just it just in less than one minute just say your name and show the willingness that you're ready to connect with as many that come across your profile another important um, element to take note of especially when you are thinking of um, updating your profile is to update keywords on your headlines on your LinkedIn profile keywords are important to helping recruiters find um, the job titles that you're actually seeking to apply for it gives them the opportunity to see um, the kind of roles that you're seeking to apply for and um, you have a maximum of about 120 characters whereby you can key in as many keywords as you so desire this is very important and um, it's it stands out in your resume it helps um, you to get found Also try to find ways to navigate through the LinkedIn profile. There are so many hidden buttons that could be helpful to you. Another one is putting up your profile uh, as open. So you are telling the recruiter that you are open for new opportunities. Uh, there's a way in which you can do that. Um, make sure your profile is set on open for both your profile and the photo section that's from the um, outlook of your linkedin profile it shows that you're open for opportunities there S if you if you lock up this particular section to maybe just your contacts then recruiters that are not in your contacts would not be able to find you so it's important especially when you're seeking new opportunity leave it open in both your profile picture section and um, and in the setting you have to go into the setting to get it open so you can be found when you also set at um, revising or um, updating your profile because you'll be making some number of changes to um, maybe your job description or typical any section of the profile try as much as possible to turn off your visibility so you don't confuse you know as many that go in to search and view your profile because as you uh, update your profile it changes part time especially when you're there sometimes you're updating it takes you 30 minutes one hour while you're going back and forth on it someone might be there looking at it come back again and see something change so it's important to try and turn off your visibility so you don't confuse whoever goes into your profile to check at that moment so you can turn it on when you're completely sure that you've finished your update and then you will see your um, number of um, views rise obviously people would seek out for you and you will notice that on your profile um, your location is also important to be updated on your profile wherever you're located in the world try and update your location on your profile so you're given categorically to as many that view your profile that this candidate is in this particular location or this country or in this province or in this state or in this city and it helps the recruiter to also figure out okay I need someone in this particular part of the world for this particular role and I see that you reside in this part of you know the country 
especially when it's not um, a remote job and the recruiter is looking for someone that resides in that particular location your location that is updated is very important to lead the recruiter in the right direction In this section, I'm going to be talking about how to customize your um, LinkedIn URL address. So um, following through this navigation, you will be able to update your LinkedIn URL to carry your first and last name, your first hyphen last name at the end of the URL. So it's easy to um, search for you. You can use that on your resume. You can put it on your call cards or business cards or your email signature. So when anybody clicks that particular URL, it takes them straight into your LinkedIn profile. It's just a very simple and easy way to have a recruiter or anyone at that reach your LinkedIn profile in a click of a button. Are we coming on nicely with this um, LinkedIn review? You can try it out on your profile as you come along with me so you understand what buttons you know to navigate through the whole thing. But uh, let's have a review of what we've talked about. If you go on your LinkedIn profile, the button to the top right corner, like a pencil. When you click it, that's what takes you into the name section whereby you can update your name, your first name, your last name. And um, you remember when I spoke about the voice recording where you can leave a voice note for whoever stops by your LinkedIn profile. That's where you can do that. You click um, the pencil and you'll be able to record moving on um, there's the next tab that is um, the pronoun that i also mentioned that you want to identify yourself appropriately it's also part of what shows on your name tag on the linkedin profile where you can check whether you are she or her he or him they or them or you can actually customize based on your gender and um, that's also very important so you get proper identification of your personality moving on again we go further to the headline and on the headline is um, what i call the summary like the first two lines that is most important that catches the eye of whoever goes into your LinkedIn profile. On this particular section, you are able to, in very few words, and I would advise that you do this on a desktop so you have the capacity of 220 characters to really write so much. It's still not enough to put all your words in just such a short headline, but try and um, minimize so many words and put them concisely in a way that can express what you want to put out there about yourself 
if you do that on a mobile phone you just have capacity of 92 characters so it's important you go on your desktop to maximize the 220 characters that is available for your headline finally under the about section you want to capture as much of your progression of work as possible and this is an opportunity for you to sell yourself in so many words this has capacity to take as many words as possible but also try to um, be concise try to maintain progression when you're journaling your achievements you would either you can decide to express yourself in first person or third person i've had so many back and forth concerning that but i personally don't think anyone matter i would feel that you can express as best as you feel you can just um, put the words out there third person just be consistent if you're using first person try and be consistent and put all your thoughts together your work your achievements um, your skill hard and soft skill and so much more that you want to express in the about section we can flip through the LinkedIn profile there's still so many more things to include your skill sets which you have capacity to include up to 10 to 15 skills and it's better you list both your hard and soft skills um, use industry keywords as much as possible to describe those um, skill sets and you can decide to search um, job descriptions on LinkedIn of other people that occupy similar position as you are and um, look at what skill sets they've used something that would also resonate with, with what you want to sell out there and the benefit of you listing out your skill set is for endorsement purposes so your co-worker someone you've been on a team with can endorse you so if you don't have skill set no one will be able to endorse you on those skills and that's very important for the recruiter or the hiring manager to find interesting to review there's still so much more on the linkedin that could be worked upon but with these few tips that i've given to you i'm sure you'll be able to step further in your career by making these informed changes on your LinkedIn profile to find you accessible to recruiters and make you ready for a new employment and a new change. Good luck in your endeavors. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for following through to this very moment. I'm so excited sharing with you how to upgrade your LinkedIn profile to a standard that will make you get found on LinkedIn because it has also helped me on my job search journey. I wish you all the best. Continue to follow me on Floki's Den so I can share with you more informative content that would help you in the long haul. See you again on another vlog. Thanks for staying tuned. Bye for now.